In this video, I will be showing you how to program this dashboard on an ESP and display it on a TFT screen connected to that ESP. I have created this repo to host the code for the dashboard and to include some few instructions and prerequisites for this project. This project is dependent on the ESP SEM Hub project, which I'm showing you right now which is a modified version of the SimHub Arduino code to allow it to run on the ESP32 and the ESP8266. So the first step is to download this code as a zip folder and then to extract it. And after extracting it, we'll be opening it on the Visual Studio Code. And as a prerequisite for this project is the platform IO plugin. We should have installed this already uh, on Visual Studio Code to be able to configure the, the project, compile it, and upload it to the ESP microcontroller. In our case here, we will be configuring it for the ESP8266 and we will be commenting out this debug line because it will make the compile slower and the upload also slower. Now we'll be going to the platform IO tab and wait for a couple of minutes until all the dependencies are installed and then we will be able to proceed with the uh, with this project. The next step now is to download the code for the dashboard itself and to replace the, the files with the current files from the ESP SimHub project. After the uh, download from the link in the repo we go and extract the folder and copy this file to the ESP SimHub project. We would be replacing the, the file in the project there with this one so we click agree and now we have the dashboard code replaced and ready to be uploaded to the ESP microcontroller. But before we do that, we need to configure the TFT screen and the, the pens connected to the uh, ESP microcontroller board. And to achieve that, we need first to install the library that we would be using to configure and to program the uh, TFT screen, which is in our case here, Lovian GFX. We go here and search for it, click on it, and click on Add to the project. And then from the drop down menu, we select our current project. And then we click Add. We wait for the uh, libraries and all the dependencies to be installed. It will take a couple of minutes. And then we will notice that the red underline is now gone because the library is installed. So now we are ready to configure the uh, TFT. So to be able to configure the TFT screen, we need to know the type of the screen, the model. So we will configure it here and select it by uncommenting the line which corresponds to the type of the TFT screen that you have. In my case, it is this one. 
and then we need to configure the ISP pins. Based on how you connected the TFT to the ESP microcontroller board. Now let's go back to the code itself for the dashboard. And here we can find all the code that has been written for this uh, simple dashboard where we can see here that uh, the code has been created in a form of components and those are some components to simplify how the dashboard can be programmed. Now we can go and click on the upload where the compiler would work and compile the code and then after the compilation is done and successful it would be uploaded to the ESP microcontroller. Now as you can see this is the initial result after the upload where the colors are not accurate so we need to invert the colors from here so we can get the right colors so we would save and run the upload again wait for the compiler and the upload to complete and then you as you can see in this side video once done the colors now are correct now it's time to open simhub to set the code that will send the right data to the ESP so we go to the Arduino section click on this single Arduino and select the right COM port make sure that the ESP is connected and then we go and click on this edit and copy the code on the file and paste it here and click OK. Once we run a any stored replay, we will be able to see that the data is sent to the ESP and rendered on the screen. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and you will find all the links showed in this video in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.